Tov. I'm Meredith Morakovitz alongside Yankees pitching coach Matt Blake. Matt, crosstown rivals are making a little noise today. The Mets, big deal with the Indians acquiring not only Francisco Lindor, but also Carlos Carrasco. What do you think of the moves That's that exciting. they made? exciting. I know that was some of the stuff that uh, Steve Cohen talked about when uh, he took on the, the ownership. So, you know, it's kind of nice to see them kind of pursue some of these guys. And obviously, they're, they're definitely trying to improve their team, which is exciting. When you look at that rotation, how much does Carrasco add to it? Well, I think he's a, a great, you know, piece of stability in the middle of that rotation. You know, he's going to log innings, going to give you quality innings, um, and he's just a, a really high character guy to put in that rotation for, you know, some of those other young arms that they're trying to develop as well. So, um, you know, I spent some time around Carlos when I was in Cleveland, and uh, obviously just rave reviews all the way around for his makeup and you know some of the stuff he's gone through over the last couple of years. Yankees fans are now thinking, when are the Yankees going to make a move? Any whispers in Yankee land? Are you guys close to anything? <laughs> Your guess is as good as mine. I try and stay out of the fray a little bit so that I, I can't give away stuff like that. <laughs> but uh, I'm sure. I thought I'd yeah, try. No, no, no. I know, you know, Cash and Fish and all those guys are, um, you know, cranking away, trying to put the best team together as we get closer to spring training. So I'm sure they've got something up their sleeve here soon. Next season is going to be unique in the sense of you guys have never played coming off a shortened season like you had with the pandemic with everything that went on. How do you plan how far you can you can push pitchers in 2021. Yeah, I think it's it's obviously a unique scenario where you know we haven't really come across this you know probably in the last you know probably decade or two. Um, but I think the biggest thing for us is just monitoring objectively where these guys are at, just like we would in any other scenario. But obviously with a little bit more caution coming into the season, knowing that, you know, especially with some of the young guys who have lined up for the rotations, they just never really carried bulk in that way. So um, obviously Garrett, you know, knows what it's supposed to feel like over the course of 150 to 200 innings. So you're not necessarily concerned about him. Um, but then, you know, Monty's coming off surgery um, and got his first taste back last year. You know, Davey and Clark and King and some of these guys um, obviously are, are looking to carry a workload for the first time, you know, in a while. And I think just just kind of outing to outing, making sure we're taking inventory of, you know, how they're responding to the stress, what are their objective measurements look like, things like that. And then just, you know, being honest with ourselves about how far we can push these guys. But I don't know if we have any set number, um, you know, going into the season.